<clears throat> wow, I can't see anything on the camera with these on. Good morning. We are back. I am now back home. It's Wednesday. It's like 7.19. I always knew the time would go fast, but it honestly felt like it went so fast. But also not fast at all because the half marathon feels like so long ago. So many of you guys were replying to my story when I said like, oh, it's our last night here. Being like, oh my god, that has gone so quickly. And I'm like, I know. It's definitely sad to have left because it was honestly amazing. I loved it. I really, really want to like manifest moving. Not necessarily to where we were, but obviously I will bring Charlie if I permanently move. But yeah, it was a trip that just I really needed it for my mental health to just kind of like change my scenery. Um, I know a lot of people had a big problem with it, but it was really, really what I needed. And I'm very, very grateful that I that I did it. But we are back now. It oddly feels so quiet because we would always hear like city noises or construction or people, you know, out and about. Yesterday, we just unpacked everything. It was a bit stressful because I came back from the Airbnb with more than I went with. So we were just like moving everything down, moving my mirror. I'm also three days out for my period. So I felt really, really tired yesterday. I did a boxing class in the morning and then moving was just exhausting. <laughs> I feel like whenever you do any type of moving, it always takes it out of you so much. And then I fell asleep in the afternoon, which I never do. It's definitely to do with the period situation. So I haven't really done anything and it's Wednesday and I have work to do and I need to get groceries because I have nothing, no food. Luckily I did do like washing and stuff and I unpacked everything yesterday. Like that took so long. I really just need to establish my routine again because it's gonna be different now as to what it was. I slept with my hair in braids last night because I normally sleep, honestly, with it out, which apparently is not good, or with it like in a bun in like a silk scrunchie. Because I really want to start working on like my hair growth journey. Obviously, she can only do so much because I bleach it. It's very oily at the moment, don't mind that. But I really want to start doing like the rose water stuff. Because in my mind, I'm like, well, using something like an eyelash serum on my eyelashes was very good. So maybe it'll be the same effect on my hair. But I find sprays and plaits so uncomfortable to sleep in, which is weird because I definitely have slept in them before. Maybe I'm quite literally not used to it, but I also find if I make them really, really loose, they fall out like straight away. What are some other protective? I know you can wear like a hair bonnet. So yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna wash my hair when I get back from the supermarket. It's definitely grown since like last year when I went to like London and stuff. I'm also tempted to dye it red. <laughs> I put you back on this tripod. Normally I use this one, which I got from Amazon, but it's honestly terrible. Like it's so unstable. This is just short, <laughs> like it's so small. So I kind of have to be always looking at a downward angle. Also, can we just take a moment to appreciate how good my skin is? I do have like one pimple here. Granted, my period is in like three days. So I think that's just pimple period. You know, we always get one or two. My skin has not been this good in the longest time. I'll, I'm gonna insert some pictures around of like what it's kind of been before I started seeing my functional nutritionist, which I haven't spoken too much about lately. But basically, if you are new here, when I was a teenager, I had really, really bad acne, went on Accutane, and then it's kind of like slowly come back over the years. And I've kind of constantly just had some form of like hormonal breakout and I'm 24. And I know I really wanted to heal my gut and like kind of embark on that whole journey, which I'm excited to kind of get back on and like focus more on. Kind of let myself go for the last like a month or so, just like not really caring what I, what I eat, which is so fine. But because I do want to kind of heal my gut, I do have to be mindful of certain things. However, my skin is still really, really good. She's got me on some supplements that are tailored towards me and my like results that I got back from my stool test, my blood test, and my verbal feedback and whatnot. I will get like one or two around my mouth, but honestly, I'm fine with that. It's definitely taken time, that's for sure but I'm very, very happy, tap on wood. It's so nice to be able to fix something with something that's not just like a band-aid solution, like going on the pill, going on antibiotics, which for some people that is necessary, but I just was like, well, clearly there's something going on inside that's not quite right. So yeah, 
I haven't been really wearing any makeup lately. My boyfriend and I went out to dinner one night and I didn't wear any makeup. I probably put like brow gel in or something, which for me is such a big deal. Um, I think when you do suffer from acne or, you know, bad breakouts, when it does kind of clear up or it goes away, you're so grateful for clear skin. And I just like don't like feel like ever putting makeup on. I really am very, very chuffed with my skin progress. Hello, it is editing Connor here. The next part was filmed back at the Airbnb. I was actually weekly vlogging last week, but I decided to just scrap it and just vlog the couple days that is this video because I hated what I had done. So this little sponsored part is from that previous video, hence why I'm in a different location. Um, but as they say in the biz, a quick word from our sponsor. I'm gonna show you some things that I got from Pebble and Pup who are kindly sponsoring this vlog. Starting off strong, I have these bad boys. <gasps> What drew me to these is they're not super high, like that's a very doable height. And they are nice and wide because some boots don't even go around my calves, but I love. I think they're so, so nice. Next I got this little linen play suit. I like that it like cinches in at the waist. I did give this an iron this morning because she needed it. Next I picked up this. I already own this in black. I swear I'm converting to a puffer jet. A puffer jest? I understand now why puffer vests are so good because they keep you warm but you don't overheat because your arms are exposed. All right, this top I've already owned before from Petal and Pop and I love it. It's such a pretty like see-through-y, just casual beachy top. The reason I have another one is because I spilled coffee all over mine and it didn't it didn't come back from that. So, okay, this one is like a button-up shirt. One of my go-to looks is just jeans and a button-up shirt. It's so easy. Next, I picked up this t-shirt. I love getting a good graphic tee because one, they're really good for the gym and I often will sleep in big oversized t-shirts. You know what I'm not good at though? Keeping white shirts clean. This is definitely more of a summer piece and I kind of wish that I sized down a little bit in this so it does run quite big. I'd probably want to wear a bralette under this because you would just risk a nip slip or an entire boob slip. The shorts actually fit really nicely. Sometimes I find with sets like this, the crotch hangs so so low and I don't know why. I love this. The model looked absolutely stunning. It is a maxi dress in a beautiful, vibrant green color. Oh, this would be such a nice Christmas dress. I was worried that the cup size was gonna be a little bit too small, but I think just the nature of the dress, how it's kind of like that like flowy, beachy vibe, it's fine. I love it. Have I ever worn a jumpsuit in my life? Don't think I have. The material surprised me. It's definitely more a thicker cotton fabric. It has huge slits on the legs um, and it's like strapless. It's got some boning. It's gorgeous. I feel like it fits really nicely. It's not like overly tight. It definitely has some stretch to it. I love it. And I think if you were tall, oh my God, it looks so good. Like you're gonna either love or hate this. It's a little bit too long and I think I could have gone down a size, but I feel like a denim, <gasps> no, with the boots and the denim dress. That would be very cute. I'm definitely gonna try that on. Um, it cinches in at the waist and it like buttons, like clip buttons all the way up. It's like a nice dark wash. I do think it's a hair too long. Like you, I would definitely want to hem this a little bit or go down a size, but I do think it's super, super cute. And I do love a good denim dress. It's like a bit retro. My Kobe petal and pop, I'm pretty sure it's con just editing the video and I got the discount code wrong. So the code is just Connor and for the first 72 hours after this video goes live, you can actually get 25% off Petal and Pop and then after the 72 hours, it will go back to being just 20% off. So that's really cool. I'll have everything in the description box down below and thank you so much to Petal and Pop for sponsoring this video. <laughs>
there's someone in a car in front of me. <laughs> See, people ask why I pretend like I'm on the phone. It's because there's clearly a camera there. This lady is staring at me so hardcore. Oh my God. Paper straws, we love them because they're great for the environment, but by golly, they don't last. <laughs> What I, I don't know who I saw this like did I see it on a TikTok and I've definitely said this on my channel before But what you do sometimes this is easier if you take the lid off Obviously, we don't always have the grace of doing that, but we have the plastic lid What you're gonna do is bend back you have less chance of injuring yourself if you take it off you're gonna bend back the little the opening and make it a big hole Because that way the straw this is very difficult and probably splattering okay because that way there's a bigger opening for the straw and it doesn't get all mushed up and then the straw just goes in voila honestly i will go as far as to say life changing <laughs> Ta -da! no soggy straws around here one thing I try to do for my skin and my hormones, I try my best to not drink coffee on an empty stomach because I feel like it really messes with your hormones and it can make you feel a little bit nauseous. I'm so sorry, I really need to blow my nose and I don't have anything. Let's get this done. Okay, it feels so strange to be like driving to the supermarket because the supermarket that was near us was just walkable. I'm being so dramatic. Okay, it was like a month gone. <laughs> Alright, we are back from the supermarket. I also went to Kmart because I picked up some razors and I also got, I've already put it in my toilet. I don't know why I love to talk about poo so much, but if you are not using like a squatty potty or a little step to just elevate your, your knees when you go to the toilet to do number two, you need to. Before I started my whole like gut health journey, I wasn't using it and I feel like I was constipated all the time and I just didn't have good bowel movements, which is super important. We need to not be so taboo when it comes to talking about it because it's very, very important. And so I started using, well, I started just like using my little bin in my toilet and just like lifting my legs up. I can't live without it now. It makes such a difference, such a difference because it like, it changes the way like everything aligns better. Just try it. But I thought, you know, it's time to get a little step. I don't know if she's high enough, but anyway, Charlie also just went for a walk. So she is a very sleepy girl. First things first, mushrooms, carrots, cucumbers, some zucchinis, chicken and mince. I've kind of gone off having kangaroo lately i think i just had it too much and cottage cheese i feel like the whole internet is eating cottage cheese right now got some lettuce this is so random this is like for charlie it's pumpkin apple baby food everything but the bagel seasoning hand wash nori sheets bananas nando's <clears throat> perinase Mustard because you guys know if you've watched me for years, you will know that I love Dijon mustard I've been recently loving just like regular mustard Because of the TikTok trend Rosemary to try and do the rosemary water Tomato paste And some eggs Some gluten-free pizza bases Aluminum foil Peanut butter Some Windex <laughs> Um, this is very random as well, but I got lime scale cleaner because the kettle has like calcium buildup on it and stuff. I'm gonna leave that there. And then I actually got in a U Foods order because I've missed having U Foods. So I thought I would get a few meals because they are so delicious. And I need to stop eating out so much. I feel like <laughs> I kind of got in the habit of doing it during our little stay. <laughs> rosemary water washed my rosemary and I'm pretty sure three cups of water add rosemary and mint boil for 15 minutes 
Okay, so this person brings it to the boil and then puts in the rosemary. So I'm gonna do that. Three cups of water. Some people add like mint and stuff to theirs. I'm just gonna stick with the rosemary. Charlie's in her bed. You like your bed? run out of my before you speak coffee um, and also naked harvest coffee too so I need to get some more so I have to use instant coffee today if you have not tried putting protein powder in your coffee what are you doing I gotta have you these are actually candle jars that I've used now as glass cups <laughs> will be my second run back since the half marathon. Saturday will be two weeks since the half marathon and I think next week I'm gonna jump into my 10k training block. I'm definitely feeling like a little bit in my head about like oh I hope I haven't lost like fitness which I probably have naturally because I was running a lot up until the half marathon and now I've essentially taken like two weeks off bar one run which did not feel the best. It wasn't awful, but it was just like not enjoyable. <laughs> so I'm gonna go out for a little easy run. I did put in some of the rosemary water yesterday and like this morning, I don't really know how <laughs> I'm supposed to put it in. The good thing about the water though, is it, it's not an oil, like it's just water. So you can kind of spray it and it's gonna dry. Hello, Missy. Ugh. I also got some new running shoes. These are the new Asics Gel Kano. 30 from the pool. These were actually gifted, which is so cool. Anything that I like get work-wise from running is just so cool to me. Like anytime I've done stuff with brands, I just think it's the coolest thing ever. I haven't spoken about these yet, but I got these socks at the, the Asics like convention when you go get your number. It's like an expo. So there's heaps and heaps of like running brands and they want you to buy their stuff basically. These are like running socks, I guess. Um, they're by the brand called Features, like Feet. <laughs> um, and I wore them for my half marathon. Have I noticed a huge difference? Not necessarily, but I think they're meant to help with like blisters and stuff. Um, but I just got like a plain white pair. But they feel really nice. I think they're meant to also be breathable. Yeah. Those would probably be my racing socks. <laughs> Gotta be honest, I'm not in the mood to go for a run right now. I think because I'm so out of the habit of it right now. It just doesn't feel like natural. Excuse me, you're blocking my camera. These feel really nice though. I like Asics. I find that Asics really works for my feet. And I like the color of these. Wow. Also, these are brand new shoes that are on my bed. People get very, very triggered whenever I put shoes on the bed. Ignore my tan too. I'm waiting to scrub it off because I have an event next week that I'm waiting to tan for. They feel like nice and cushiony and they feel very like even because some shoes, I swear to God, it's like a mountain range in the shoe. <clears throat> wow, I can't see anything on the camera with these on. I don't think I've ever hated a running fit more, uh, but I just feel like wearing a t-shirt today because period's on the way and I just wanna wear a t-shirt, especially with this vest because it kind of like sits on your skin. So these are from Amazon. I find that even if it's not sunny, the wind makes my eyes water a lot. So it's almost like I really should be wearing sunglasses or like glasses just to block the wind out having some Naked Harvest Pre. If you've not tried the Sour Worm flavor, it's honestly out of this world. Okay, this honestly could be a three kilometer run. I don't really care. I'm just gonna go. It's like 10 o'clock, so pretty late, but we're just gonna. That looks so funny. Um, all right. I think this run might feel worse than Monday's run, but oddly, I'm not too disheartened. <laughs> I'm not used to running at the moment, but I think I'm 
I'm just gonna do three corners. Which I don't think is a bad thing. I'm just, it's just hard to get my like breath under control or else I didn't warm up and I said I was going to and I didn't at all. So that definitely didn't help. to just end off the vlog here but I wanted to also mention some of my running goals because I did mention this briefly on Instagram but as I said before I'm going to start a 10k training vlog so similarly to my half marathon how I trained for I think the half marathon was 12 weeks it'll be the same thing but for the 10k distance so for me and my running motivation having a goal is so important for me in order to like actually get me up in doing the runs is having that end goal and I think the 10k distance is very very manageable I use the app called runner if you didn't know r-u-n-n-a and I love it it's helped me so much I can't wait to see how much I'll improve um, with a shorter distance in terms of speed because obviously with a half marathon and like marathon distances speed doesn't come into it that much when you're doing it but for a 10k I think my pb at the moment is 52 minutes so it would be really cool to do a sub um 50 minute <laughs> 10k who knows the only times I actually pb in my 5k my 10k is when I'm doing a long run which is weird but it does kind of make sense at the same time yeah that's what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna start it next week if I feel good because my period will be coming next week now that I think of it we'll see but that's what I'm gonna work on next because I can't really jump into any kind of marathon training block because you can only do it so far out from the race date but continuing my training this year up until marathon season comes around again um, will help me as well thank you guys so much for spending the last couple days with me thank you again for so much love on the running content as always and i hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you're in the world and i'll see you in my next one bye